Yo, YouTube man, what's going on with y'all? Big Hater Fools, man. It is your boy, man. Fly shit only, man. Back at it again with another video. Hope everybody out there is having a blessed one, a safe one, a promising one. You dig, man. Shout out to everybody that's rocking out with the new page and stuff like that. We a little bit more urban looking and stuff like that, man. But we still on our fly stuff, man. You already know I'll be rocking, man, around these parts, man. But, hey, I got another video for y'all real quick that I want to go ahead and check out. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and deep dive into and stuff like that, man. See what's going on with the significance. You feel me, man? Appreciate everybody that's been rocking out, man. You already know I'll be rocking, man. We in this bad boy, man, live and direct, man. So, basically... What this video is right here is a female seduce and seduce <laughs> uh, a male uh, gentleman, you know what I'm saying, for pretty much everything that he has and stuff like that. You feel me? Um, I haven't heard of countless situations like this before and stuff like that. Um, I know people in person that, you know, then went through situations like this too as well in person in real life. But uh, I've heard this plenty of times though and stuff like that. So... The only thing that really intrigues me about this, though, is that she got away with 600K in jewelry. You feel what I'm saying? So that right there is kind of like, dang, how did she do that? You feel me? I kind of got an idea how she did it. Because like I said, I'm looking at the thumbnail. I see what's going on in this thumbnail and stuff like that. So I kind of got an idea how she did it and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and react to this video. We're going to check it out. And we're going to go ahead and talk about it and stuff like that. We're going to talk about it from, you know what I'm saying, the, the street point of view. We're going to talk about it from the point of view of don't let this happen to you. You feel me? So nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'm really not going to stop it. I'm going to let it go ahead and play all the way through. Then we're going to go ahead and talk about it afterwards, man. Let me know if you like that type of uh, a way of doing it, like letting this play all the way through, then talking af uh, afterwards. Or do you want me to go ahead and like stop when I hear key points, talk about it, play again, stop, key points, talk about it, play again. Let me know what type of way that y'all want me to do it. But other than that, though, we're going to go ahead and uh, test this bad boy out. Let's go ahead and get money. Uh, Start from the beginning. Here we go. And play. The woman police are looking for and local 10 news reporter Rosh Lowe is live with all the expensive jewelry she allegedly got away with. Rosh. This case is unique and let me tell you why in this sense. This woman say cop got away with $600,000. That's right. $600,000 worth of Rolexes and jewelry. We've seen these cases before but cops say they have very clear images of this woman and they really want to catch her. It's 5.30 a.m. and into the elevator we go. This guy, who's been blurred out, has brought this woman home. Take a look at her. They met at a bar, according to police, named the Dirty Rabbit in Wynwood. <laughs> and then cops say this woman did him dirty to the tune <laughs> of $600,000 worth of Rolexes and jewelry. These are super, super clear images of her. We know that somebody's going to see her and either know that they were also a victim of her or that they know who she is. Police say after having one drink with the woman at his apartment, the guy fell asleep. Cops say he wakes up at around noon to quite the surprise. His safe open, jewelry missing, and the female gone. And she has two solo cups in her hand. Now, sometimes she might say, oh, well, she's just leaving with a solo cup. No, she's taking the solo cup that she drank because it has her DNA. She's mm. taking his solo cup because it has not only his DNA, but it also has whatever drugs she put in it. Mm. She took off, but her images are there for all to see. Listen to what she took off with, according to police. A Rolex Daytona Rainbow with diamonds, Sky Dweller Rolex, gold chain, Franco gold bracelets, Cartier sunglasses, and a rose gold diamond ring. Quite the haul. A couple of things here. Police telling me the victim, who does not want to be identified, is offering an additional $10,000 reward. And here's Check him out. From cops. <laughs> if you meet somebody out at a bar and you happen to take them home, do not accept a drink from them. If they say they want to pour you a drink, say, you know what? I got the drink myself. Always make sure that the cup that you're pouring the alcohol in is your cup and you see it at all times. We're live in Miami. I'm Rosh. Lord have mercy. Good advice there, Rosh. Thank you. We want to show you that woman's photo one more time. If you recognize her, please give Miami Dade Crime Stoppers a call. The number is right up on your screen. It is. Uh, we, we, we're, we're not going to call nobody because we only live nowhere near Miami Dade County. But 
but look, check this out, right? <laughs> I'm so happy that me growing up, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I was a person that I had both my mother and father. You know what I'm saying? They both played a big part of my life and stuff like that. But I was always more street smart than I was school smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, I graduated from high school, all that good old stuff, or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? But when it comes to the street smarts, though, I always made sure that played a bigger factor in my life. And when I was younger, I didn't know why I took that route and stuff like that. Maybe it was the kids I was hanging out with, you know what I'm saying, the homeboys I was hanging out with and stuff like that, or whatever, you feel me? But that's the route that I took, though, you know what I'm saying? I paid attention to school, did that, passed, you know what I'm saying, with a uh, 2.7 GPA and stuff like that. Not the best in the world, but I graduated, though, you feel me? But at the same token, though, always made sure that when it came to being street smart, I was just, you know what I'm saying, on it. And this right here, bro, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. It's two scenarios that I'm thinking about. That could possibly have happened in this right here. Uh, one, it's a insurance scam. Or two, she is a hoe that has a pimp. And buddy ass got finesse. Simple as that. It's either one of the two options. You feel me? Pick one. Um, the, the, the whole, you know, insurance scam, I mean... People do that, but that's kind of, like, rare and stuff like that. Like, it's not really, you know, looked upon of and stuff like that or whatever the case may be. Because if it was, more people would do it. But, you know, people can figure out, especially cops and law enforcement, all that good old stuff. They can figure out, you know what I'm saying, if you lying or not like that. Or if this is a scam or whatever the case may be. No, they can figure out that stuff for the most part. But you just getting pure finesse because you're a male. Not a man, but you're a male. And you're sitting there talking to a young lady that's very attractive and you're drinking. And the conversation is so good that you go from being brain smart to being brain dead because now your dick is live. Let me say that again. You go from being brain smart to being brain dead because your dick is alive. It goes back to the old saying, once your dick is alive, your brain is dead. You're not thinking logical no more. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like one of the two scenarios has happened, but let's talk about the scenario if this right here is, you know what I'm saying, a hoe, you know what I'm saying, a working girl. I have you, you know, say society like to portray these women and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's a hoe, man, because uh, <laughs> whoever, uh, you know what I'm saying, she just finessed and whoever her pimp is and stuff like that, yeah, you know what I'm saying, they definitely just check that bag, though. You feel me? But nonetheless, though, this is a situation right here that's very common. It's very easy to see. I tell people this all the time. Like, me personally, like, I'm a very attractive male. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm very attractive. You see how my attire is. Not, like, don't pay this attire no attention. But when I go out and stuff like that, I'm very attractive, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know, man. Like, I'm the spotlight of all attention and stuff like that. You feel me? And even with that, I still pay attention to the females that approach me or the females that I talk to. You feel what I'm saying? And even if I'm out and about and stuff like that, and I see a female that I know from way back, like she knows me, I know her, like we know each other on a somewhat personal level, whatever the case may be, I still pay attention. Any female that comes into my presence, I pay attention to everything that she's doing. I make sure that, because I'm a person that likes to drink alcohol too as well, I make sure that I don't consume too much alcohol. I make sure that I'm in the right state of mind. I make sure that... Everything that's going on is going on the way that it should be going on. Because y'all got to realize something. I'm from Chicago. You feel me? Now, he just got finessed and just got robbed for $600,000. Where I live at, situations like this, you end up on the back burner of being killed. You feel me? That's just how it is up here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how Chicago rocks and stuff like that. You feel me? So this right here doesn't surprise me in no, you know what I'm saying, type of hindsight or anything like that. It's just crazy that... Still to this day in 2023, because this is the old profession right here. Guys are still getting played by females because they're reducing, seducing them right in front of their eyes. And they think that, oh, well, I'm a rich guy. I'm a wealthy guy and stuff like that. She should like me. Dude, she don't know shit about you. Don't y'all realize this right here? And I'm look, I'm going to try to keep this video short, but I might go on a little, little rant. But don't y'all realize that 
a lot of these females don't know who you are, what you represent, what you bring to the table. You feel me? And a lot of guys, they do dumb shit like brag and boast and flash shit and stuff like that. What the case may be. See, me personally, look, I'm a guy that's well off and stuff like that. Like, I can do what I want to do. I can buy what I want to buy. You know what I'm saying? Within my means, I can travel anytime I want to. Like, it's no problem. You feel me? But still, with that being said right there, though, when I talk to a female, I don't talk about money. I don't flash money because you're going to draw the wrong attention to you. See, if you flash money and what the band and stuff like that, then, you know what I'm saying, you won't get that type of, you know what I'm saying, reaction from a female. And you think that, oh, she likes me because of me and stuff. No, no, no. She likes you because you're flashing money. And nine times out of ten, she's trying to come up off a of lick. Now, that has never happened to me before and stuff like that, but I'm not saying that it can't happen to me. You feel me? Now, if a female knows me personally and stuff like that, she know how I rock and stuff like that, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying, that's a different story. But at the same token, though, I still pay attention to everything that's going on in the situation, the atmosphere, the environment that we in. Stop losing focus of what's going on because you want to sit there and be so seductive and so seducive to the female. And all you're thinking about is sex. All you're thinking about is fornication. And you lose track and focus of what's going on in front of you. I don't feel sorry for this dude right here. I'm just being honest. I don't. I, I'm sorry, but I don't feel sorry for him. I mean, he didn't die. He didn't get, you know, brutally beat up or anything like that. He just got finessed out of $600,000. Simple as that. And I don't feel so sorry for him. Because this right here is a lesson learned right here that stop trusting people. When I go out, I don't trust nobody. I tell y'all this all the time. I have two best friends. Them only people that I trust with all my secrets and all my know-abouts and all my whereabouts. And I, them the only people. Everybody else I don't trust at all. Female, I don't give a fuck if this female is sucking me into goddamn the rapture. Con I still don't trust you. You feel me? Until you get to that point where you, you know what I'm saying? You got did something, you know what I'm saying, in, in the past or whatever case may be, where I can't trust you. But I only trust two people, though. One guy, one female. And one of the females that I told y'all about and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, I made a video about and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? She is a working girl. She is a hoe. You feel me? But she has showed nothing but loyalty from day one. You feel me? She didn't see me at my darkest hour to my most shinest point. Can't do nothing but trust her. Same thing with my homeboy and stuff like that, man. He didn't see me at my darkest hour and stuff like that. He didn't see me at my highest point. Can't do nothing but trust him. You dig what I'm saying? But situations like this, when you meet somebody off the random, off the flip, come on, dog. What do you expect is going to happen? Now, I'm sure that the guy, because let's, 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 let's play it in, uh, you know what I'm saying, the guy standpoint, right? I'm sure that the guy, you know what I'm saying, he's a multi you know, millionaire or whatever the case may be. He probably owns a company or, you know what I'm saying, is a CEO or some type of, you know, say multi-billion dollar company, whatever, right? And I'm sure that he does this on a regular. And I'm sure that, you know, on the regular, he did this a hundred times where he tells people who he is, he shows a little money, he shows Instagram photos, he shows Facebook photos, he shows that he's going here, he's going there, he travels, he's on planes, he's doing this and that, blah, blah, blah. He's living the extravagant life, Right? And out of those hundred times that he has did that, 99 of those females went for it with no problem. He had sex with them. He fornicated with them. He did what he wanted to do with them. And they left on a merry way. No harm, no foul. Nothing bad happened. But this one time, though, this one time that he tried to pull that same trickery dick shit. Because that's what I call it. I call it trickery dick. You a tricky dick motherfucker. That's what I call it. He pulled it with this female right here. And she was hip on game. She was hip on game to the point that she seen that, oh, you're flashing money. Oh, you're the CEO of this company. Oh, you driving this car. Oh, you have a, you know. Uh, a, 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 a spot or whatever, you know what I'm saying, a, a suite or whatever at this, you know, saying hotel or whatever. Oh, you know what I'm saying, you make this much money. Oh, are you telling me all of this and we barely know each other? Now, like I said, maybe it could have been a different motive. Maybe she been plotting on this guy right here. 
But it could have been the other motive that I'm talking about right now where he was just a loose mouth, a loose goose, talking too much. He was sitting there talking to this girl right here because he was sexually, you know what I'm saying, lustful with her. Because he just likes how she looks, you know what I'm saying? She has the seductive eyes. She has the black hair. She has the titties that's out. You know what I'm saying? She has the legs that's showing. And his dick was hard. His dick was thinking for him. And he was brain dead. Right? And in that moment, while he's sitting there talking and doing all this old shit, and she finally sit there and tells him that, hey, you know, it's going on 5 o'clock because they said they got back to the the hotel or whatever at, at 5 30 so hey it's five o'clock you know what i'm saying this bar is about to close uh what are you about to do oh well i'm about to go to my hotel oh can i come with you i mean i like the conversation that we're having i want to continue to have a conversation well yes we can go ahead and go back to my spot we can continue the conversation with a bottle of wine or if you like to drink a little bit harder liquor you know i have that too as well come back with me baby and in this whole process of her getting into the car, them traveling to his hotel or motel or whatever, right? He's thinking in his mind that got him, got another one. But the whole time, though, he doesn't realize that this female is plotting on him like, got him, I got one. And when they went back to the hotel, I'm sure they took their coats off, whatever the case may be. Took off, you know, say extra garment on. They just got their shirts on. They sit in there chilling. They probably had a little conversation real quick. They poured each other drinks and stuff like that. No harm, no foul. At some point, he probably went to the bathroom. Probably had to get up to change the music. Whatever the case may be, he had to get up real quick. She poured some type of drug substance into, you know, his cup. And we returned. He returned with smiling faces. And said, where did we leave off at? Oh, well, you was talking about how, you know, uh, you figured out, you know, saying um, a new uh, structure of DNA that, you know, you could bond with this DNA and you can down there clone. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, baby. That's what I was talking about. And he smiled at her as he took his sip. And she also smiled at him as he took his sip. And this is probably coming from a man that has a wife, has kids. He just out here sneaking and geeking, <laughs> as we like to call it. You feel me? That's one reason why he probably didn't want to be, you know what I'm saying, identified and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He has a wife and kids and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You know how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Husband out here cheating and shit like that on the wife and kids or whatever the case may be. You know how this shit goes. But as he took that silk and as he further took more silks, he started to feel tired and sleepy and dazed and disoriented. And he fell asleep. And when he fell asleep, that's when she became alive. Because she wasn't intrigued by your sexual appearance. She probably wasn't even attracted to you. But what she was intrigued by was she knew who you was or she can pinpoint and verify what you were saying to her in that bar was actual facts about how much you make and how much you own. So once you fell asleep, that's when she became on the roam and stuff like that. Now, how she became with the, you know, the cold and stuff like that, who knows? But she got it, though. That's all that matters. She got the cold, got into the safe. You probably had shit laying around and stuff like that. You probably was showing shit. You know what I'm saying? From all we know is she probably was like, um, you know, I never seen a Rolex before. I remember you talking about a Rolex. What does a Rolex look like? And you're like, oh, well, you know, I have several Rolex here, you know what I'm saying, at this uh, hotel right here. Uh, let me go grab them. And you had several Rolexes laid out flushly, you know what I'm saying, on the little patio table right there, whatever the case may be. And as she's trying them on and looking at them, you're like, Oh, well, go take a picture with it. It's all good. She probably took a picture with it. You know what I'm saying? Got on her Instagram, took a picture with it and all that other stuff. But you left it out, though. She probably seduced you so much that you took all your jewelry out for her to try on. Because you're trying to be such a gentleman, right? <laughs> and with all your jewelry being left out there, I'm just thinking of a scenario. It probably didn't happen this way, but I'm just thinking of a scenario, though. Once you fell asleep, she took it off. Now, it could be one of two ways. 
she could have either seduce you where you had all your jewelry out and stuff like that, or she do uh, seduce you in a way where you fell asleep and she was able to find your code and stuff like that for your safe or whatever the case may be and get all the jewelry out like that. One of the two. Who knows? You feel me? But at the end of the day, though, I'm not mad at her. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you a trick. So how can I be mad at her for you doing trickish ways? See, you put yourself in that situation. She didn't force you. She didn't rob you in a way that traditionally people get robbed with a gun or strong arm or nothing like that. No. You was thinking with your dick, and you got finessed it. Simple as that. And now you're offering a $10,000 reward for whoever finds the perpetrator. She didn't perpetrate nothing. You was thinking with your dick, not with your head, and you got finessed it. Simple as that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an old school crime, but hey. You got Vanessa, my boy. Who can you get mad at? Are you mad at her because you fell asleep at 530 in the morning trying to have sex, trying to fornicate with this woman? She's the robber. She's not the robber. In my eyes, she's not. She just finessed you. You're goofy, stupid, dumb. Anyways else you want me to put it? I'm just telling you how I feel. You feel me? Now, on a female standpoint, she got a cold game, you know. She uh, covered her bases for the most part. But one thing that she didn't do, and I wish she would have did. See, if, if she is a working girl, if she is a hoe, and she do have a pimp, she do have somebody resigning over her, whatever the case may be, I wish that they would have told her, like, hey, look, check this out, right? You're going to be out there to find this dude, whatever the case may be. Uh, carry, have, a, have a wig with you, right? Or even better, have a poo shisey with you, right? Because you got to think about it. And when you're dealing with high-profile people like this, they're going to places that cost the best. And when you go to places that cost the best, there's security and cameras everywhere. So you got to think about it. And I wish baby girl would have, you know what I'm saying, peep game and had a little bit more game about herself and been like, okay, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get on this elevator. I got to walk through this lobby. I got to walk down this hallway. I got to walk down this street. Some type of camera or some type of person is paying attention to me. They see me come in with this guy, but they see me leaving by myself. He didn't walk me to the door. I wish she would have had a little bit more game about herself and would have, you know what I'm saying, had a wig in her purse. Cover her up a little bit. Or even have a poo shiesty. Or even have a mask on her face. I mean, this is pre-COVID right here, right? You can have masks on your face. You can have full face. You can have all that shit. Ain't nobody going to say nothing to you. This is pre-COVID. And if anybody does approach you and be like, hey, why you got that mask on your face? Uh, COVID. I mean, COVID is still alive even three years later. Simple as that. So I wish she would have had a little bit more game about herself because she got away with the money, with the jury, but they still have her photo. And that's the part that is like, damn, they still got your photo. Like, you almost got away scot-free. But this right here is probably still what's going to get you. So I just wish that whoever was residing over her, her pimp or whatever the case may be, would have, you know what I'm saying, gave her a little bit more game about it. Like, look, baby, look, we covering all bases. Look, yeah, we going to, you know what I'm saying, go here to this spot. You're going to talk to this dude who out the band and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to sit here and then seduce him and stuff like that. You're going to go back to his spot and stuff like that. Tell him that you're going to fornicate with him. You want to suck it. You want to do all that, baby. You want to do all that. And when he feels comfortable, when he walks away, whatever the case may be, pour that in his drink or whatever the case may be, and he's going to fall asleep. But I wish... Whoever was residing over her, or if she's working alone, I wish they would have had a little bit more intelligence about themselves and would have either had a wig to put on when they got onto the elevator or would have uh, left out the house, you know what I'm saying, left out the, uh, the hotel, or some type of mask or something like that to just cover up more. I mean, this right here is a pretty much good photo of the person. So I'm sure this person's probably going to get caught eventually. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just wish that it would have been a little bit more game right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, cover up, baby. Once you leave out, cover up. Put a wig on. Put a mask on. Something. Cover up. Ain't nobody going to say nothing to you. Cover up. So whatever is going on in this situation right here, this is where she's lacking in game rap. Because she, she, she needs a mask or something on like that. You feel me? But at the end of the day, though, like, like I said, I, <laughs> I don't feel sorry for the man. You got finesse, bro. It's simple as that, man. Like, I come from Chicago, man. Like, I see this shit on a regular day basis. And you only got to finesse out of money, right? 
I just seen people get finessed out of their lives because they think with their dick and they not think with their head. They fuck with this female, and this female gets their ass set up. That's how a lot of dudes get set up because of a female. Like I said, I can go hours about talking about this subject right here, but we ain't gonna talk too about long. But this is how a lot of get a lot of dudes get set up right here, thinking with their dick, not thinking with their head. I see it all the time. You feel me? Stop that. If you don't want shit like this to happen to you, stop that. Stop thinking that every female is just so attracted to you. You got to think about it. When somebody talks to you, when somebody approaches you, when somebody shows interest into you, there's some type of motive behind it. It might be a love motive. It might be a connection motive. It might be a robbery motive. It might be a setup. It's some type of motive behind it. Find out what the motive is. Stop being so loose and goosey and think that, Oh, well, I'm just this rich guy and stuff like that, so all females are just going to buy down to me. It doesn't work like that. I have seen it plenty of times. Rich guys, wealthy guys just getting finesse out of all their cash. So this right here, I'm not surprised about. You feel me? But like I said, I'm not going to go too far into this subject. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about this, man. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feel about this, man? Like, I mean, pretty much what I say, man, I don't see why anybody would, you know what I'm saying, think any... Uh, Otherwise, anything like that. But, you know, some people out there, you know, think otherwise and stuff like that. But let me know. But other than that, though, man, it is your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Fly guy only, man. Fly shit only, man. You already know. Rock and bulletproof is schooling. Make sure you check out all the videos. Make sure you check out all the live screen, man. Subscribe to the page, man. You already know we rock it. And until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all next one. You know, for my peace, love, and positivity and blessings, I'm up out of here, gang, gang, to the end. And we gone, man. Holler at me in the next one, man. Gone, man. You feel me? Let's get money.